Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Birdie, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. Today, we're being joined by Amanda Summers, author of The Millennial World. Amanda, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Are you ready to get started? Yes, I am. All right. Question number one. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writes in their book? So for me, I think the biggest thing is, is it doesn't matter what your experience is, especially now. There's always so much that you can learn online or from other authors that have kind of gone out there and done it before you. But also never be afraid to make mistakes because you can always write a second book. And what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? So I think that the hardest part is definitely extending your your audience and reaching more people that maybe they don't directly know you, but they can benefit from reading a book that you've written. But I think that at the same time with technology, things have improving greatly. So I guess the biggest hurdle from there is just learning how to optimize your marketing strategies. Well, speaking of marketing, uh, please share a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launch that has worked well. So, The Millennial World was my first book, and I did it 100% self-published. I didn't have anybody really to help me. It was just kind of my first attempt into getting into the writing world. And so what I did was I ended up making a Twitter account and initially I kept up very heavily with other authors and communicating with them on social media because I think with social media you do have a huge reach and with that it's also free so as well as you can communicate your message and communicate with other people that might benefit from similar things, you can also kind of market your book towards them simultaneously. Well, you mentioned connecting with other authors. So what was your strategy with that and how did it go? So I think my biggest thing was if you go on to Twitter, a lot of the times it'll say, other people you might want to follow or if you search certain hashtags you can kind of get connected to some and then from there you can kind of if you do your research any kind of social media group you can always find different authors that are connected or maybe you'll see a post from another author saying hey you should really check out this person's book and it's really nice to be able to find people like that because you also know that you can promote them, they can promote you. So it's kind of a win-win situation for everybody. So did you connect with them through using like um, like personal messages or what was your way that you connected with them after you researched them and found who they are? Mostly just following each other on Twitter and just checking out what they've posted, checking out what they've written and vice versa. Okay. Well, let's talk about your favorite book. So what is your favorite book and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? So my personal favorite book is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And I think that the reason why I've always chosen this one is because it kind of opens your mind into different ways in making money and saving money. And I think part of that kind of influenced me to actually go ahead and self-publish my first book. And, you know, I feel like to a certain extent, the sky's the limit now. So, and 
just write whatever I want, publish it however I want, just shoot for the stars, I guess. And for a final question, what is your favorite quote and why? My favorite quote is Wayne Gretzky, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And I think it's no matter what you do in life, there's always going to be different opportunities out there. And if you don't give it a shot, if you don't try, you're guaranteed to never make it. So you can just go out there and try your best at anything that you find interesting. You're bound to find one success. Amanda, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show. What is the best way for people to find you online? My biggest social media is probably LinkedIn, so it's definitely a good place to find me. But I'm, like I said, I'm also on Twitter. All right. Well, Amanda, thank you once again for being on the show, and I wish you all the best in your author journey ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how you can be featured in our brand new Get Published Business Book, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. 